All right, guys, I want to do a quick video today uh, talking about the Viper Knives Orso again. Now, this is a completely different Orso, as you can tell, because I actually had to return my carbon fiber one to GP Knives. It had horrible detent play. Um, I have people ask me what detent play is. So, right now I'm shaking the knife. It's making no noise, and the knife's coming out. Detent play is when you push on the, de the, the flipper, and it kind of moves a little bit, has some play. Sometimes it's just a matter of that. This one was so bad on the, on the carbon fiber one I had that it, you could shake it and you could hear the knife shaking. I, I could not find another knife that did that in my collection anywhere. So I ended up returning it and went down to Blade HQ today and picked up this um, Orso as well as this Pina X Series Riot um, Lanny's clip in my car. That it's absolutely freaking amazing. But I wanted to go down to Blade HQ and had the day off today and try out. Um, another Orso, because I loved the design. There's nothing I didn't like about the knife. I loved it, but uh, I didn't love <laughs> the quality control, and that's uh, kind of a problem Viper has. It's not uncommon with Viper. So I was able to go down and check out a couple, and I hadn't seen the G10 models, and I really liked this olive drab G10. I have a thing for olive drab, apparently. Um, so I decided to pick this up, um, and this is a great specimen. It has no issues, no centering issue, no, no lockup, no detent play, nice smooth action. So wanted to kind of give an update on that because I did have one bad one. This one's been great, um, but it is one of those knives and companies more specifically that you got to be leery of and you want to, if you can possibly handle one in person, do it. If you can't, make sure you buy from a retailer with a good return policy like GP Knives. They took care of me, no problem. I did have to send it back on my own dime, which was a defective knife, which I kind of would have liked to have like a return label sent to me, you know, to have them pick up the cost of shipping because it was defective. Um, but, you know, not every company does that, I realize that. And, you know, if they always send back every defective knife they got, they might, I don't know. Anyway, some companies do that, some don't. So, but anyway, you wanted to do an update. I did get another one. I love this all the grass. It's even lighter than that last one by a little bit. Really, really nice G10 on this one. Great flipping action, nice lockup. Centering is just about perfect, and um, there is little, or excuse me, no detent play, which is huge. So still a great buy, guys. If you can find one that doesn't have QC issues, it's a fantastic knife. I would definitely recommend picking one up. Just like I said, either, either have one in store if you can, or um, buy from a retailer with a really good return policy, knowing that there's a chance that it might have some issues. Uh, GP actually told me that they have had a couple sent back, so I was not the first one to call them. So it sounds like the good old Viper QC is uh, striking again. But it's a fantastic design by the Genzanzo. It's, it's just f a great knife, and I love everything about it. So I wanted to try another one, and luckily I found I got one from Blade HQ without any problems. So there is a lot of benefit to having a brick-and-mortar store close by, especially one like Blade HQ. It's about an hour away from me now. They've moved a little farther south even. But um, totally worth the drive. Especially when you can handle knives that you're not sure of, you know, that you wouldn't want to buy on a whim. Um, it's so nice to be able to go down there and check them out and, you know, pick out a good model because they'll have a few to choose from. They'll let you handle multiple ones if you want to. And there's a lot of knife companies that you have to do that with. I would say Riot's not one of those, um, but Viper is, uh, Benchmade, Spyderco, um, a lot of the less expensive budget knives you want to do that with, like Kershaw's, CRQT's, etc. Um, but when you're paying this much for a knife, you really shouldn't have to do that. So just kind of be leery. It is a fantastic design. I definitely recommend picking one up. Just be leery that you may end up having to return one with issues. Or um, if you can, like I said, check one out in person. All right, guys, that's my fault. Thoughts on the Orso. I got another one. I really like it. It's going to definitely be in the EDC rotation. Uh, as I mentioned in my other video, it's just too bad that the first carbon fiber one I had didn't pan out very well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.